On this part, you'll learn how to add the first cinemas view, and we are going to use this view to display a list of cinemas. Now, before you write any code, let us go to the existing app and see the design for the cinemas list. So, in here, the same way, we have four columns. So, we have the first one for the cinema logo, we have the cinema name, the description, and the actions buttons. Now, down here, we also have the add new button, but for now, we're just going to add the list of the cinemas, and on the upcoming parts, you'll learn how to add a new cinema. So let us go to Visual Studio and see it in action. In Visual Studio, the first thing that you need to do is that you need to go to the Solution Explorer, and then in here, go to the Cinemas Controller. In here, you have the index action result. So in here, we have cinemas.toList async. This is going to be a list of all cinemas. Now let us pass as a parameter the cinemas to the view method. So return view all cinemas. And now let us go to the Solution Explorer one more time because we need to create the index.c-sharp HTML for the index action result in the cinemas controller. So inside the views, let us just add a new folder. And this folder is going to have the cinemas name because that is the controller name. And inside the cinemas, we're going to have a new view. This is going to be a razor view and an empty view. Then click the add button. We are going to keep the default index.c sharp HTML. And since the cinemas view is similar to the producers, I'll just go to the index.c sharp HTML for the producers. Control A, Control C to copy all this code. And then inside here, Control V. Now let us scroll up. This is going to be an I enumerable of cinema, so cinema. And the view data title is going to be list of cinemas. And when you save the changes, you're going to see that in here we have some errors. And the reason for that is because in the cinemas model, we do not have the profile picture URL property. So let us just go to the cinema, right click, then go to definition. And here you can see that we have the logo, we have the name, and the description. So let us go back to the index.c-sharp HTML. The first one is going to be the logo. The second one is going to be the name. And the third one is going to be the description. Now let us scroll down in here and also modify the source for the image. This is going to be logo. And here we are going to use name as the alt property. The second column is going to have the name property. And the third one is going to have the description. Now, let us go to the cinema model one more time because we are going to add the display property. So go to definition. And then in here, we're going to have display. And the name for display is going to be the cinema logo. Then we're going to have the name, so cinema name. And the last one is going to be the cinema description. So cinema description, or maybe just description. And that's all you need to do in this section. Now let us run Visual Studio to check the result. So we see that the app ran successfully. Now here, let us just go to slash cinemas. And now here you can see that we have all the cinemas. And here at the top, you can see that we have the list of cinemas and dash E tickets. And the list of cinemas comes from the index.c sharp HTML. So let us go back to Visual Studio. So in the index.c sharp HTML, we have defined that the view data title property is going to be the list of cinemas. But where does the second part come from? So if you go to the Solution Explorer, and then in here go to the layout view. And in here you can see that inside the title tag, we are going to display the view data title, then dash 
E tickets. So basically we are getting from the index.c sharp HTML, the view data title, and that is list of cinemas. And to the list of cinemas, we are adding the E tickets. And the same is true for the other views. So if you go, for example, to producers, we have in here list of producers, then dash E tickets. And the same is true for the actors. So actors. And in here we have list of actors dash e tickets.